Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Thrones of Britannia playthrough as Mercia, where we are just battering the Welsh guys. Now, we have a few public order issues, but I suspect these these should fix themselves relatively quickly. So that's do with the territory which I lost. Um, and we're in a relatively good position because we're pushing up through here. We've got a small army here. Oh, I don't know how big these guys actually are, but I suspect I need to push them soon. Hmm. No, we are levy as well. So we want to push back against Oswestray. Oswestray? Oswestry. I mean, I know what it's actually called in the real world, but I don't quite know in there. Because this is the area where I live in the real world. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no, are they actually not taking... I didn't quite get there. Um, but no, Oswald Stray. Stray. This basically means Oswald's town. Um, it's actually quite interesting. It's where King Oswald, the Northumbrian king, was killed, who became a saint. Saint Oswald. Um, who was actually uh, killed. The battle happened where I went to school. And the modern interpretation of the main is Oswald's tree, because a tree grew where he, uh, where his, uh, where his crown, his head was dropped by an eagle, but actually, um, it didn't. What's she going to give him? She'll give him less loyalty, but this lowers my influence. Um, it's only one. Uh, I will give my blessing for that one. I can cope with that one. But no, it's just an interesting story about Oswald Street, because it's how, how the language and words can, uh, can cause confusion. Hmm. We, can't. we can beat this. We can definitely beat this because they're running away. Okay, we're going to fight this, however. But no, Os Oswestry is, um... As I said, it's an interesting place because it is uh, it's where a big battle happened with the King of Mercia died and um, obviously it's around where Offa's dyke is and all these things. It's just this sort of Shropshire, that sort of area of country is quite a lot of interesting thing happened, things happened in. And it's, it's a bit of a country people don't tend to know about actually, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm sure that could be said for a lot of the country. Anyway, let's stop talking about random trivial bits of history and jump into this battle and kill these Welsh. Uh... They get good archers, so actually doing this in the rain might help us. Ready for war. And they've got obviously that they've got slightly better cav here too. Um, oh, why are you doing that? Ready. Fairly standard, oh, boring formation here. So that's heavy cav. And they've got, they've got you know three units of spears, but some of them are very weakened, so it's not a huge problem. And obviously they've got their skirmishers. My skirmishers seem to skirmish really early. Let's hit those javelins. Shield wall! I know it doesn't help, but it only appears to help versus shields. That said, this isn't going to be bad because we're going to we're going to slam into the side of these guys. So these guys are going to form up behind, and we're going to turn and hit them. Straight into there, and you guys can form another shield castle here. Okay, let's actually turn and form it. Scout Cab can move around here and hammer into the side of them there. Oh wow, we've broken them. 
Why, why did they form it that way? Oops! Play straight into them. Oh, that's perfect. The cav is coming up now. You guys can slam into the side there. We can move over there. We can just charge them. And then once we're through, we can actually uh, break our formation. Straight into these guys. Pin them. Perfect. My spears can keep chasing them down. In fact, everything is gone. Oh, they're coming back. Let's let's throw a few arrows into their backs. That should break them. The enemy general is gone. Let my cab chase them down. They're broken. Let's finish these guys. Have something left somewhere? Ah, I'm not bothering chasing. So a nice solid victory against the forces of Powis there. Completely battered them. Um killed their king again, guys. Um so that's the second king we've killed of Powis, so we're uh we're breaking their um their family here quite nicely. Hmm. Oh, I need to click continue, don't I? It does help if I click continue. Okay, we don't need to take them on. Yes! Keep my uh, friends happy. Right, another governor to level up. Um... That's nice, that also buffs people in the province. Do a scribe for a bit of extra income here. Because he is really loyal. All forces in good order. Battle awaits. I Let's reoccupy Oswestry rather than go on about it. You can move up to here. Hmm. Nothing you offer. Okay, we're gonna push a little bit. We're gonna push up, try and take here and here, potentially. Yeah, just try and try and take their minor settlements and leave Anglesey, maybe. And I could take it all, it's just the only issue of taking it all is um, it does put me in conflict with the Danes. But it does also expand my territory. Um, I might just take here and here as a sort of little buffer until that sufficiently weakens them as well. So, so that my allies down there might, might well be able to beat them. Um, I'm going to chase that army off next turn. That's just a single guy, so he's going to be really easy to chase off. Um... And batter. Ooh! So some of those troops from Paris did survive there, not for long. Um, I do love the fact we've got a little bit of Don little bit of Londis over here, Doncaster just all on its own. Um Wow, Northumbria seemed Northumbria is crumbling here, guys. So uh yeah, while we're gonna go to war here, uh, we really do want to take advantage of that. Wow, but Strathclutz have also gone. I tell you what, North Leode are a bit scary. We will do our utmost. Attack man. Glory awaits us. Our blades are yours. Our foe's days are numbered. Quick auto. Powers is all but done now, guys.
Nice, we got some money for that. Well. What does governance actually do? Ah, so it does, does give us various benefits. What does this do? Um, oh, so zeal does affect local provinces. So I'm actually going to give throw some of my guys a bit of zeal. Um, it gives us more um, words. Words are failing me. More income. Um, Wow, a lot of a lot of food here. See, if I dismantle this, what can I actually build here? That's what I want to know. Um, let's find out. See, Tithe Barn upsets my people, so I'm going to get rid of that. It's the, uh, the grain pit's good because we're buying stuff in. The Tithe Barn is forcing people to give us stuff. Oh, if he takes that. Eh, we should be able to get that back easily enough. We're certainly at least finishing Powers off here. They're expanding. I I still don't want to be friends with them. I'm really good friends with the people they're at war with. I love the fact they keep trying to be friends with me, um, which isn't going to happen. So, oh, we've got Kent growing up here as well. Um, and and Sufsiex, and Wessex, um, and East Engel are growing. So this area is a bit of a mess, as I said. That's why I want to take advantage over here as early as I can. Okay, um, keep the gold, which upsets my people. Um, bonus for the army. Let's see, extra loyalty. I, I want the loyalty of my noble, nobles at the moment. Okay, uh, mission issued. Uh, conquer Snottingham or not, not hunting, not hunting him. Where are they? They are places we are looking at going soon. Where's the other place, he said. Anyway. I'm going to keep on the military ones at the moment. My men yearn to prove themselves. Uh, quartermaster for the extra speed. The extra supplies are good later on as well, because that means I can operate outside my territory for longer. The ze uh, get up our zeal to keep our people happier. Uh... I could subjugate it, but no, we're just going to take it. Uh, mission su succeeded. Uh, eliminate Powys and conquer at least one major settlement in Wales. Your fever will be your war fever will be increased or further. And that is Powys gone, and our war fever is up nicely, and we're gaining fame here, guys, which is a way to victory. So fame does give you victory here. A short fame is a you know certain amount. Um, Ultimate victory. <laughs> Eliminate the Viking invasion fleets. Wow. Um, right, eliminate Northumbria and eliminate Snottingham. The conquer of settlements of Snottingham and North Northampton. So here, where's Northampton? Well, that's held by. Yeah, that's helping Wessex. We're not, we're not doing that. 
Oh, what? Oh, Wilfrith. Well, Wilfrith can be made my heir again, because he is the rightful heir. Um... Turn her down. Very turn her down. Oh, did she die? Alright, do we have any more estates now? Um, Wilfruff. Can we give Wilfruff an estate? No, he already has an estate. Hmm. No. Oh, we've got we've got a couple of estates to share out, so we do need to give out one at least one of them. So we'll give one one more to Wilfrith. Massively upped his loyalty. Who else has got the lowest loyalty? CNM can get Oswestry. Okay. Well, I did nothing for his loyalty. Hmm. Ah, so these generate estates. Okay. I thought I was knocking one of these down. Ah, so all we could do is... Ah, so we can't actually change them. Never mind. Don't think I need to fight that battle, guys. I think... I think... I think we just about got this. Killing lots of Welsh here. Got a bit of money for that. Forward march. Ah, and we can retrain these guys to the new units, which are better. We will stay the course. Jesu guide us. We will do our utmost. All forces in good order. Okay. Soon. Okay, it, it's winter, so we are suffering a little bit here. Now, the question is, do I want to capture anywhere? Or do I want to push peace now? I could push for peace now. And then move over and prepare the war on my other side. Having them there is a good buffer against the Vikings. Um, I do have... You know, a couple of... Well, I've got access to the sea, but... South S S Saxons... Sussex is gone. The men are ready to you know what? It's a pain marching into their territory, so we are going to offer a peace treaty for now. Declaration of friendship. And we're going to demand a payment from them. Okay, we're not going to do that. We're just going to demand a payment. No, I still want a declaration of friendship. Oh no, I'm not offering money. I can see no. Hmm. Declaration of friendship, because it will mean they are less likely to go to war with me in the future. Um, they've still got a nice war down here, which we threw at them. They're going to be a little annoyed at me now for, for making friends with Gwynedd, but... Uh, um, can I get them to be more friendly now? Thank you. 
Okay, that works well. Let's have a look at this region. Well, it's just a tiny part of that. I could easily sub no subjugate them. Much, but I will hear you. In Gwent. So, I, I, down here is somewhere I do want, but I'm not going to go there just yet. So we're going to push over here to take some of this territory next. Um... So these guys are going to, these two small armies are effectively going to be little raiding armies. Um, the public order here will repair itself over time, guys. It's the occupation negatives we're having at the moment. Um, and because we've got that still here. Okay. So that is that war over and done with, guys. So we are going to mark this, this way before, before... Wessex takes everything. At some point, guys, we are going to end up having a war with Wessex. And that is going to be vicious and nasty. Um, because they will try and subjugate me. Um, they kind of have I to. Have reached a new rank. Ooh, Mid vassalizes a minor Irish kingdom. So Mid is doing quite well. Hmm. So, doing scribes again to keep our people happier. That'll do. Um, lowers corruption. That's good. That's also good, because it provides garrison. And here, I may well need a garrison long run. That said, for now... I want the income that this will provide. That might also be... No, I can do that somewhere else, actually. So we could do that here, for example, which would affect the majority of our, of our region. We await your commands. So we're going to burn through these guys, and then we're going to smash straight into these guys afterwards. And are, who are these guys? Are these guys vassalized by enemy? No, they're enemies with everybody, so that's going to be a nice, easy victory for us, guys. He says they are definitely up towards our north, so... Yeah, they could take here, but I'm not particularly fussed about Doncaster, and we can always go back up there afterwards. So um, and taking this area is not going to be hard. I suspect that's not a particularly big army, so we'll move our main army towards them while we do while we while we uh, pillage their settlements. Well, we're not going to pillage their settlements. We're just going to capture their settlements. We're going to uh, claim it back for Mercia, guys, because this is Mercian territory they hold. It should rightfully be ours. The men have trained. Okay. Hmm. As I need to up here to do anything else. Let's save up a bit of cash before we do anything else. Revel in our peace while we have it, because we're not a small kingdom, you know. We, we, we're by no means, uh, you know, we can afford a little bit of peace. That said, I don't want to let Wessex grow out of control because they could here, and that would be bad. Hmm. The men are ready to serve. Oh. Of course, we've got the um, better armory here now. That'll do for now. Probably should have worked out which ones I was doing a bit more, but... Oh, this will put us at war with Northumbria again. Oh well!
The men have trained for this. Get marching, men! Alright, I'm gonna put more in here, though. I probably do want to start working on some of these civic ones soon. It's like this. Enables the building of a water mill. Um, yeah, some of those will really help me, but I will get one more of those. Right, we are going to build up here because we've got plenty of spare. Oh, wow. However, we're skint. That's our issue at the moment. That said, this is going to be a very short war, guys. So. And then we're going to march north. To be fair, we may even be able to force a peace treaty already up here. Oh, did they just take one of the settlements I wanted? They did. Ooh. Okay, it's over there. I was like, a fleet landing right in our territory would have been bad. We'll take her hand. Why is he so low? I thought he was already the king's captain. Yeah, I know he needs to marry. I can't marry him at the moment. We await your commands. They don't have much territory. Hmm. Not an option. Lots of rebels around. No. We will do our utmost. Not an option. Fit to fight! No. All forces in good order. We are ready to fight them! Let battle commence! We await your commands. We are ready. Okay. These guys are going to move up this way, actually. Um, I'm going to hold him there. They're going to move up together to try and defend against uh, against the north. But I'm not that fussed, that worried at the moment. Um, we're just doing a land grab here against these weaker forces, forces these little places. Because if I don't, somebody else will. Uh, these are technically mercy in territories. Okay. Snottingham, I don't know if it counted as a... Ours or as, um. No, no, it's definitely Mercian. Uh, it's definitely Mercian territory rather than uh, Anglian territory, but it is getting close to the border, so it's still not happening. I like the fact that he is battering Wessex, though, guys. Um, that's going to be keeping Wessex at least slightly busy. Um. All forces in good order. Victory is We're going to need to fight this because it says my odds are nowhere near what they should be. My odds are definitely better than it was giving me, guys. We will rip this army to pieces. I mean, they've got one... What sort of cav... I guess it depends how heavy these cav are, actually. Um, I suspect they're just scout. Yeah, they're levy, melee, carry, cavalry, and they've got less. So, um, I mean, he's elite, great, elite sword infantry. Uh, so we're fairly... I don't get the odds it gave me. We are going to absolutely obliterate them. Making ready. To battle. Ready. Let's just double time up. God, I need to turn him down because he tells me how that was the start of every battle, doesn't he? They are quite thick formations, so um, and we can afford to thicken our formation actually because uh, we vastly outnumber them. 
Why have you done that? into the sides of them there oh that worked nicely these guys are just going to move around the back and hammer into them from the rear we've got a cab fight going on over here where we are yeah we are winning there slam into them these guys are now being hit from both sides then they're not going to last long they're going to break really quickly here um I mean, we are cutting. Certainly, these guys are being cut to pieces. Uh, their general's bodyguard is doing better, but they are losing. Especially now, we've got more men into the press here, and they're they're just fighting a last sort of line here, surrounded by. Oh, I love that that just curve of shields around them. It's beautiful. As our guys charge in here and batter them. Let's just check on our cav. Cav battle is over. And it's just just watching this now, guys. Slowly grinding through them. Um, and they're broken. And this is the battle. So nice, solid victory for us there. Much better than the auto resolve would have given us. Um... We didn't, I don't know if we killed the king. It didn't tell us we killed the king, but we might well have. Um, and this is their king here we'll have killed. So, um, yeah. Let's take on their troops. No, so their king escaped for about 10 seconds. Ran away to be hunted down and killed. Poor man. Okay, guys, and we are going to end this one here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Right, with these, these are going to be, this and my mid campaign are going to be being dropped to one every other day. I did a load of this one on the first day, simply because it was shiny and new I wanted to play. Now, they may come a little bit quicker because I'm enjoying playing this and I want to keep playing it. But it will probably be every other day or every few days I'm going to be sorting it out. I'll let, try and let you know exactly what my schedule will be. Um, I'll probably pop it on my Twitter and my Discord once I've decided on exactly what it's going to be because I've got a few campaigns going on at the moment. But as always guys, please feel free to pop comments down in the comments or jump over to my Discord and say hi. That is linked in my comments and the description. There are also links there to my Twitter and to my Patreon. Thank you very much for your time guys.